in this video I want to tell something about, about a project that I'm working on. It's a precision capacitance meter. And then I mean it uh, is not specifically a precision capacitance meter, but it works in the range between 1.8 picofarad and approximately 4000 picofarad. So for nanofarad. Many hobby meters have the possibility to um, measure capacitance values between, let's say, 4 nanofarad and 1 microfarad. So uh, in this circuit I am only interested in uh, a small range. The range that generally spoken uh, normal uh, multimeters can't handle. And I made this circuit, I have already showed it in an earlier video, but um, I took this video away from YouTube and now I make this video again. I hope I can explain now better what I'm doing. Um, how it works is this. You have a square wave oscillator that has a very substantial output amplitude. That's here. And that uh, square wave oscillator is driven by a voltage varying between 0 and 35 volts. That also means that the frequency from the square wave oscillator also changes. And in this case it changes between 77 kHz and approximately 207 kHz. I want to show that now. This is my counter. And I vary the voltage now here by means of a voltage regulator with a potentiometer in um, connected to the base from the Darlington. That's this potentiometer here. And when I vary the voltage to the square wave oscillator, you can see that the frequency also changes. And not only the frequency changes, but also the amplitude changes to a very substantial level. And to measure a capacitor from approximately 2 picofarad, you need a high frequency and also uh, a substantial output level. Let's say approximately 5 volts or so. Here you can see what happens when I change the voltage to the square wave generator. This is the maximum voltage, 35 volts. I go back now to a lower voltage. You can see that the frequency changes, also the amplitude changes. And here it's gone. I can set my scope to a higher level and then the wave will come back, of course. But um, it also shows the properties from the circuit and they are that uh, on a higher uh, output level from the oscillator uh, you can measure small value capacitors. One of the properties. I'm now working here. So here's the unknown capacitor. In this case you can see I've used a capacitor bank to test the circuit. Uh, the capacitor bank consists of all kinds of uh, capacitor values between 2 uh, picofarad or 1.8 picofarad and here in the end 470 nanofarad. Of course, of course I don't use the complete range. Uh, this meter will, will uh, go to maximum uh, 3000 uh, picofarad or so. Here's the metering circuit, the measuring circuit 
consisting of one transistor here. In the emitter lead there is the meter here. The a square wave is rectified by means of this diode. It's smoothened out somewhat by means of this capacitor. The output voltage is regulated by means of this small potentiometer. And uh, in fact I use three uh, potentiometers to uh, make the whole circuit work. It sets this potentiometer sets the sensitivity from the meter. This potentiometer sets the input sensitivity. This potentiometer sets the input voltage to the square wave generator. And I have to find out with these uh, three potentiometers a certain way to measure all values between one picofarad and approximately uh, 3000 picofarad. So it will take some time to figure it all out and to find a reliable uh, circuit. So I think I'm uh, going to be uh, busy with this circuit and it will take a lot of time. Wish you luck.